Seeing something for the first time is one of the most remarkable things. I do like to see things that are different and that connects with me. And I think it connects with more people. And that's why we use images so much to show how the world works, either through art or either through science. So when you show someone a picture of the body in the way either it should work or it doesn't work, it connects with people so readily. And that's why imaging has become so important, one in our lives and secondly in medicine today. Imaging allows you to look inside the body or the brain. It allows you to look in a different way that other techniques do. You can slice up tissues, you can take samples from tissues, but what imaging allows you to do is to look inside a living system, sometimes in three dimensions, to be able to slice it up and not only look at the anatomy, but look at the physiology or the function at the same time. And there's a few techniques that allow you to do that. Imaging is one of those great areas of biomedical science that is really truly uh, translational. So what we're doing in the lab, using animal models and things like that, and using uh, these various different imaging modalities, those are the same imaging modalities that are used in hospitals, in clinic. UCL is really a world leading university and we draw on all of its expertise to try and get you teachers who are not just talking about how different technology works, but also are publishing high-end, high-quality publications in the top journals around. Our course, I think, is unique because it concentrates on how medical imaging is used in research. So rather than how medical imaging is used in day-to-day -day diagnosis in hospitals, we're really focusing on how it's used in research to develop new techniques and to assess new uh, therapies, new drugs. I was just fascinated by using modalities just to look inside the body. I mean, it's amazing, like, I can look inside of you with this machine. I chose UCL simply because they had a very advanced functional imaging research projects that interests me a lot because that's the future of clinical radiology. It's a nice size masters I think. It's not too big, they work well together and we do a number of different seminar activities and we get them to group off into and to work on different aspects of projects. We've had people from sort of psychology backgrounds, from biomedical science backgrounds, we've had some clinical uh, doctors that have come in to do the masters. So at the end of the year we present our dissertation projects to everyone in CABI and it's just to kind of show what we've done throughout the year. I used to hate presentations because we are taught by specialists. They're actually very humble and they give you tips how to present to, let's say, children, public or, or scientists and help me build my confidence. And when they get it right, when they get it so that it completely flows and they get a concept over to to the audience that, they, that that audience hasn't got before and they see it when everybody's face lights up. That is just a moment of joy. And you can see for the first time that they start to shine. You see a different side to themselves and that, that's probably one of the most um, joyful bits of running the course. <laughs>